All right, so this lesson I'm gonna teach you how to uh, set up and deck out the look and appearance of your online store. You don't have to be a website guru or developer or designer to do this. Shopify makes it easy and I'm gonna walk you through it. Also, keep in mind, like, don't go into what I call analysis paralysis. Like, you know, people spend way too long sometimes tweaking their themes. Remember the goal is to get your first sale. So make sure you know when to say when. Before I dive in real quick, I wanted to show you this website that is totally free called canva.com and it makes it really easy for you to design graphics, logos, um, and anything you might need for your store. I'll show you a couple uh, trips, tricks and tips here. So basically you can go up to the top here and they will give you templates for anything you really want to do here. Logo, business card, and it makes it super easy for you to design something of your own. So like you can scroll down here and see all these free looks and feels and make it your own. If it's something that you like, you can use the template and edit it and so on and so forth. So to get started, click customize the theme. And remember, done is better than perfect, right? This is what the online store editor look, looks like and I recommend starting at the top. And of course, work your way down and make sure you're thorough and click on everything and go through everything so you don't miss anything. And always, always keep saving here in the top right as you work. So I'll go through and give you some examples here. The header section usually refers to the section at the top of the page. Um, so we're gonna click on that and you can decide whether you want your logo centered or left. You can change out your logo image. You can do a custom logo width to sort of make some tweaks there if you want a bigger one. Um, you can change the menu. This is where you can change your menu from the customization template if you want to. You can show an announcement bar. I love, you know, announce something here. We got a sale going on, right? And you can make sure that's on the home page only or all pages. <laughs> really cool text. Uh, so let's do something. Announce something here. Woohoo, right? So. Anyways, um, I think you get the picture. Um, the other thing you can do here is, remember before I told you you can move sections around, you can actually click and drag things. And then if you want to remove something, you can simply click on it and click remove section. How cool is that? If you like really like a section and want to duplicate it, you can go down here and add a section. So say you want to add another gallery section, you can just boom add a gallery, boom, add, and um, there it is. So you kind of have to go back here and you'll see you added another gallery section. You can move it wherever you want. I recommend starting simpler, um, you know, and a good template um, is we have done a lot of testing on this website. And you can see it's pretty straightforward. Um, you know, and this is kind of a great layout we found for conversion. So you can look at skincarebyelena.com if you'd like some motivation and inspiration. Shopify also has a free logo maker called hatchful.shopify.com. I will put a link to it below and it's really cool as well. Another feature I want to show you is if you actually go into a section that needs an image, you can explore free images here and this is actually their library of free images that you could use. So I could theoretically just pop that one in there and it will show up and you know, you gotta find the right size and this and that, but pretty cool, right? Make sure you check uh, different views here at the top, especially mobile. Mobile is like how I design my websites now. I start with mobile first. Very important for SEO. Um, when you add an image, make sure you identify the image and describe it as beauty, skincare, makeup products, or you know, whatever it is. Um, this will be good for SEO and Google will like you more, you'll sell more, you'll get more traffic. So let's talk a little bit about text and call to action. Call to action is huge. You can basically play and adjust the text here, color, size, all you want. I haven't really done it yet, but I did adjust what my text says. And it's really great to sort of point customers in a direction. Um, so here I have free beauty samples. Click here to apply for free sample program. Uh, if you want to add a button, you know, I'll just add one real quick. It says click here. We'll go to a product we're selling, maybe like a first time facial. And look, boom, it adds a button and it sends them directly to that page. Obviously you can style that button as well. 
To do that, you just simply go back out here to your main screen, go to theme settings. This is a little harder to find, so I thought I'd show it to you. And go to colors, and here you have buttons. And you do want to spend a little bit of time over here in the theme settings as well, decking everything out. For inspiration on how to do all this stuff, um, check out my website here and feel free to you know copy some of our verbiage and things and, and ways we draw people to certain different pages in our layout. Um, you know that's why we have it available here. So you know just go down the left hand side here, click on each section, see if you want it or not. If not, remove it. And if something feels like it's missing, fool around with adding sections and see if you can you know find one that you like that fills in whatever you think is missing. Remember, shorter websites with less stuff on the page load faster and tend to convert higher. So don't go too crazy, especially if you're just starting out. If you do have any questions or any needs around this, please feel free to post in the group. I am here to help you. And I also want to see the site that you designed, so please post it when you feel like it's ready. One last thing, if you did use a theme that you bought and there's something techy, you usually will have to reach out to the theme development company. So uh, just an FYI that some of these themes are made by Shopify, and if you have something really techy going on, you can reach out to them. Um, and if it's a paid theme, you gotta reach out to whoever designed your theme. And look, if you don't wanna do any of this, <laughs> you can reach out to me personally, and I can actually show you how to hire someone to design it. Um, but I really think it's valuable for you to get in there and at least understand all this stuff. So thanks so much for watching.